Six Charlie, take one. My name is David Gregan and I was the uh, cinematographer on Love Guns and Level Ups. I think one of the really good things about this project is the variety of the actual different looks of the worlds. Each world had like uh, a different colour palette, different textures, different looks. Being given the creative freedom to create a whole bunch of different worlds and looks within one series is, uh, is pretty rare really. Probably my favourite world uh, to do was Zombie World, which was episode four. I think just the reason for that is because it's uh, starkly different to the rest of the series. It's a lot darker, it's a lot bleaker. It was quite overcast, uh, which a lot of zombie uh, films usually are. They're um, dark and moody, so we push the blues a bit more, blues and greys. We put a little bit of grain in there, because um, you know we used The Walking Dead as an example, and Dawn of the Dead, other zombie movies, and they're quite grainy. So I really enjoyed being able to sort of play with, you know, like a lot of darkness and haze, and a bit more like theatrical lighting in that one. <laughs> Love Guns and Level Ups was shot on the Red Gemini, which is a red digital cinema camera. The reason I decided uh, that over like an Arri Alexa or anything like that is I think the red has a much like uh, more contrasty look to it. There's a lot of uh, like big budget films that are shot on the red. It was actually in fact the show House of Cards, uh, which was shot on red and I really liked how sort of like crisp the images were, like hard shadows. It's a bit different to the Ari Alexa. The Alexa's got a lot more like natural skin tones and it's a bit more subtle. Whereas in this world, I wanted to be like almost hyper realistic. The lenses I used were Zeiss Compact Primes. The reason I used those was because they're a relatively neutral lens. They're sharp colour matching on them is quite good. That being said, I also put uh, Tiffin Glimmer Glass in front of the lenses. And essentially what Tiffin Glimmer Glass will do is it creates like a little bit of a bloom in highlights. So if you sort of look at like blown out windows or uh, lamps, you might see a little bit of a bloom in it. Also, Glimmer Glass helps to soften skin tones. With digital sensors, a lot of the time it can be quite hard. I always try and use uh, diffusion filters just to soften off skin tones. It just takes the hard edge off of it just a tiny bit and looms those highlights. Yeah.